Making settings on a Hiyoki LCR meters are extremely easy. Watch this video to learn how to configure the Hiyoki IM3536 to measure the capacitance of electrolytic capacitors. First, return the LCR meter to default condition by touching Reset on the screen. All of the settings are now in their default state. Now let's set the measurement parameters. First, select C, S, and D. Then set the measurement frequency to 120 hertz. Configure the measurement signal to 0.5 volts. Next, set the DC bias to 1 volt. By selecting slow 2 as the measurement speed, you can achieve more stable measurements. Now let's make short and open compensations. Select the cable length that matches the specifications of the test fixture. First, conduct open compensation. Since there are two points, 120 Hz and 100 kHz, spot compensation will be conducted. First, enter 120 Hz. Then enter 100 kHz. Make sure the test fixture is in the open position. Then press Execute. That's all you need to do to complete open compensation. Now let's do short compensation in the same way. Enter 120 Hz. Then enter 100 kHz. Install the short bar on the fixture. Then press Execute. Short compensation is now completed. Now let's start testing. First place the electrolytic capacitor on the fixture. Because the capacitor has two polarities, make sure the minus side is positioned on the low end. The LCR meter will start measuring the capacitance and tangent delta or D of the capacitor. Now let's measure the ESR or equivalent series resistance of the component. First set the measurement parameter. ESR is equivalent to the RS parameter so please select RS. Next modify the measurement frequency. Change the setting to 100 kilohertz. ESR is now being measured. As you can see, it is extremely easy to set up a Hioki LCR meter to make multiple measurements. For more information, please visit www.hioki.com.